Three hours before game time and on the court at the American Airlines Center are some of the Dallas Mavericks players and ball kids. Before the arena fills with fans, this is when ball kids get the chance to be up close and personal with some of their idols. It's larger than life. Yeah, I was just kind of like in awe of everything that was going on around me. Out of almost 2,000 teenagers, every season 80 are selected to become Mavericks ball kids. Oh, I got a letter in the mail and I saw it when I got home from school and I started crying. I was so excited about it. Being a ball kid means the opportunity to attend games, interact with players and coaches, and see some of the best players from around the NBA. They are chosen after attending a Mavericks camp. To become a ball kid, you have to have a certain GPA, write an essay, and show leadership skills. Think about how many people apply. It is just amazing that I got picked out of everyone else because you, know, you have to have a good attitude and good grades, and there's just so many things that you have to go through to get in, so I'm really fortunate to be able to do this. The quality that, that each of our ball kids possess is uh, one of personality, one of great character, and, and really the, that's what we look for through our camp process. It's not all fun and games, although it is a lot of fun. Ball kids are responsible for mopping the court during games, something critical to player safety. They also rebound during shoot-arounds, help the Mavericks and visiting teams on their bench, and assist with fan promotions. Really cool to see something that is on national television and that millions of people watch, um, and now you're a part of it. Ball kids are also a part of some amazing moments in sports history. Darren Williams hit a buzzer beater uh, against Sacramento this year, and I was sitting right out on the court when it happened. I just heard the swoosh, and then um, you know, I saw them dogpile on him. They just all jumped on him. It was one of the most exciting moments, just seeing how the crowd reacted, how the players reacted, and how I was reacting. I mean, I was going crazy. There are also those moments with players the group says they'll tell their great-grandkids about when they're 90. Chandler Parsons is my favorite player. He came up to me and introduced himself, and then he asked me what my name was. Uh, so for him to show an interest in me, that was really cool for me. Every time Chandler Parsons comes out to rebound, He'll be shooting free throws and then he randomly passes it to me. They're also bringing some legit bragging rights at school when you can say you hung out with Dirk Nowitzki. A lot of the time they don't they don't believe me at first, but then you know I show the pictures and everything and they think it is so cool. For high school spotlight, I'm Maya Golden.